okay I found it um, it's good to have a break anyway so if you look at the named examples in the syllabus these are the plants which are given as named examples so I've put each plant name down that they give and then underneath I've put which kind of cutting you can do for each of them so you can see some plant examples will be you can do them from soft semi-ripe and hardwood such as corners which is dogwood or buddleia fuchsia you can do a softwood or semi-ripe uh, and pelagonium it is usually just a softwood cutting so that's how the syllabus kind of marries up um, to the different types of stem cutting so just be clear in your mind um, know those named examples that are listed there and know which method of stem cutting is used for each named example. Okay, so um, what's the difference between soft, semi-ripe and hardwood cuttings? Okay, it's the timing and what the plant material looks like. So softwood cuttings are done early in the season when you've got all that new bendy growth so this is a bit of dog uh, sorry box and you can see that the older leaves are a lot darker the newer leaves are paler you can kind of see the new growth a lot better on the on the box and you can see the top growth is really soft so softwoods cuttings are often taken from this new young tip growth we've got a a hebe there as well it's really soft and bendy at the top and it's a lot harder at the bottom so you don't use the bottom but you use this this tip the tip or the soft new growth often soft growth will just snap which that has when you bend it that's how you know that it's soft okay if it just bends like our lower wood like that and doesn't snap that's semi-ripe so if it's bendy but doesn't snap it's semi-ripe and if it resists bending such as this one this is hardwood i mean it, this is still quite young growth um if you have a, a really old um stem you know you, you can't bend it at all so softwood are taken early in the season semi-ripe are taken later on after this the tip has hardened up a little bit so it will still be soft at the top but the bottom of it will be will be harder so we call that semi-ripe. So hebes, for example, you can take softwood now. Then in July, you can take a semi-ripe where the top is soft, but the bottom is a little bit more hard or bendy uh, or, or ripe, as the name suggests, it's semi-ripe. Um, so actually semi-ripe are taken sort of later on in the summer, early autumn, as the base has hardened up. Then finally, our hardwood are taken over the winter, from November to early winter, um, so November to January or February is the best time, and that plant material, um, usually deciduous, so obviously in the winter there'd be no leaves, um, so I've got some dogwood here, usually the juvenile growth is, is uh, redder in colour, um, it's just obviously it wouldn't have any leaves in the winter so hardwood cuttings are usually look like that and I showed you some on the allotment earlier but we'll cover those in a little bit more detail okay so those are our three types of stem cuttings that we're going to take um, what does what is our plant material going to look like okay we've said we, we make sure the material is correct is it soft semi-ripe or hard are we collecting it at the correct time of year for that particular cutting? And you only know that by looking it up in a book or trying it out. You know, every plant is different. Some like, some root better from a semi-ripe, some will root better from a softwood, etc. Some will do everything. Um, so first of all, we need to make sure that our plant is true to type meaning that so i'm going back to our box again because i've just got a bit of it here meaning that if this is books of sempervirens when we take our little cutting that is exactly the same as the plant so we knew we know that that is true to type when it roots if 
it had put off a little side shoot which is variegated and we took a cutting that would not be true to type because it's different to the mother plant so we need to make sure it's true to type we need to make sure it's healthy so it's not showing any signs of deficiency of nutrients and that it's not wilted of course um, and it's got also no pests and disease on it so you check it over for any symptoms of pests and disease so it needs to be really healthy um, and obviously pests and disease free so true to type pest and disease free and healthy meaning it's enough water enough nutrients um, no signs of any deficiency okay so that's what generally we need to consider when selecting our stem material we keep it nice and turgid all the cells nice and turgid in our plastic bag and we put it in a cool place if we weren't doing our cutting straight away and um, so next we'll then go we'll go on to look at the three types of stem cutting individually